Okay, I had to reboot the system to continue on. Uh, good old Katia likes to crash. I had to close everything down and just reopen it. Uh, when I reopened it, for some reason this axis is always off by default now. I can't figure out why that is. It does kind of drive me crazy. But uh, let's hide the surface. Hide the surface. And this one here. Oh, shoot. We're going to do it with the spline. All right, so let's try that again. Um, let's go to surface, sweep, circle. And two angles, center curve, wireframe, create a line. I'm just going to repeat what I did last time. We'll go in the X direction, reverse that. Let's live dangerous and go five inches instead. And reference curve, we can create a spline on the fly. We'll add some points. Now, uh, I don't even see my line here. That's concerning. Insert point on a plane. Insert another point on a plane. Insert another point. I don't even see my point showing up here. And let's do one more. Say OK. Ooh, my line's not nowhere near long enough. So we will have to click on that line to edit that line. And let's try 10 inches. Select OK. You can kind of see that surface is already taken shape. And it's limited to the length of that line. So that's why it stops there. So if I want that to continue, we have to edit the existing line length. Let's try 15. And hit OK. And now you can see my spline is as long as this curve. It wouldn't hurt for it to be longer. Change it to 20. It won't stretch the surface. When I say OK to this, I will get that because this spline was shorter than the length of that line, which is fine. It's just letting you know that that's the case. But I'm not certain of why don't I. I should have saw my lines, but they're, they're buried in there. Select this. Okay. And the reason why I like to use the common tools is it's three less steps in my operations in the tree that you won't have to see. So this one here, we created the line, then did the sweep where, oh no, I think I deleted that or something. Anyways, using the common tool keeps all the geometry used to create that sweep in that sweep. And now I know what all was used in there. If I want, I should be able to pull those out of hide and I would be able to see them, but for some reason my geometry is not showing up. So another wonderful thing going on with my Katia. I don't know why that's doing that. All right, but that is how the sweep circle two angle splines, or sweep circle with two angles using a spline works versus a line. Go ahead and try those out. Have some fun 
do some things with it if you want. Also, if uh, you go to your spine and I take point three, you see if I put my cursor on that, it lets me to edit that. Um, I should be able to grab that point and move it. Select OK, and it totally changes the shape there. Okay, so you can do those at will. I'll take point number two. I'll do something crazy. I'll grab that point. I'll move it over here. It's asking for all kinds of trouble here. Anyways, as you can see, you can get a lot of different shapes and contours with just the simple circle features. That concludes the demos on the circle with two angles. I'm going to do the most common one I use on the next demo. That's center radius.